Well, here at The Drum we're currently working on the first issue of The Drum UK which will be hitting desks on Friday the, the 22nd of August. Uh, so that ultimately means there'll be no magazine hitting desks this week, but that doesn't mean there's not been plenty going on in the industry. If you've been uh, keeping tabs on things through The Drum's website then you'll see it's not been a great week for, particularly for, Scot for Scotland. Um, we've lost businesses such as the Hub Design Consultancy, Beath Printing and Curtis Fine Papers. So it's really a stark reminder of how tough things are out there at the moment. Um, having spent some time down in England over the past week, there seems to be a little bit more confidence in the North West, um, probably as a consequence of more clients, bigger budgets. Although that said, you know, agencies really are looking at uh, how, to, how to position themselves over the coming year. Um, we're also preparing for the Chip Shop Awards, which is a highlight of the uh, Creative uh, Awards calendar. Uh, now, record number of entries again this year, and we're uh, holding the event at Lulu through in Edinburgh. Um, we're very fortunate this year because Michael uh, Wolf of Wolf Olins is going to come along and speak to us about what inspires him creatively. And uh, so it's a great chance to come along and hear that and also to meet the man who's behind one of the most successful branding consultancies of all time. Another feature we're looking at in the uh, next issue of the drum is the brands of the future. And um, we're going to be focusing on some of the brands that uh, promise to become super brands over the next five to ten years. Uh, we've been polling the industry and we've got uh, brands covering sectors from confectionery to finance. Uh, right through to lingerie, so really is a mixed bag. Uh, but if you've got any ideas that, uh, or any, you're working with any brands or any clients that you're quite excited about, and then do get in touch, there's still time um, for us to put them into consideration. Also in the next magazine, we're going to be taking another look at the controversial uh, Scottish Government tender. And uh, if um, you're down in England, then you probably won't know much about this, so it will be a great opportunity to find out a little bit more about is what is possibly the most controversial tender, uh, certainly in Scottish history, possibly in, in, in the UK. So that'll be well worth reading as well.